Hello YouTube. Today I wanted to make a video about salt resistant plants and I am on a salt marsh island so I, I noticed there are no videos like this on YouTube and it's probably because no one really cares but if you do have a house on a salty island uh, I feel like this information would be pretty helpful. So right here in front of me is a persimmon tree. And it is actually a very well shaped tree. As you can see it's quite nice looking. Um, despite the fact that it's never had any pruning. And you can see that it is not only surviving but growing with you know six inches of growth this year and it is loaded with of course persimmon. Um we have two problems on this island is drought, oversaturation, and salt. And this tree seems to do it all in stride. Um, it is probably my highest recommendation for a fruiting tree on an island. And of course you can get some wood from an Asian persimmon tree and graft it so you can have like softball sized persimmons, but you know, American persimmons are good enough. Um, another thing we have on this island would be, gra we have a grapevine, and um, this this island's a little past it for uh, grapevines, but about ten years ago, they would have done great, and there used to be, when we bought this house, there was three grapevines here and they covered this entire trellis and were covered in grapes and this one seems to be coming back to life but it doesn't have that much longer left in it okay so here for an ornamental tree we have two weeping willows which I'm pretty surprised how well they're doing. Um, I did not think they were going to survive. But you can see they got lots of new growth this year. Um, I would recommend a different type of willow because the weeping willows, as you can see since we're on an island, there's not too many trees. And if these get any size, they could definitely catch the wind like they're doing now and break and that would be very bad um... we also have hibiscus grows fairly well and yeah we've just been chopping it there's a hibiscus flower and these roses grow very well. We also we also have um, just different kinds of pine trees and evergreen trees. Some plants I would not recommend to grow on an island is a vegetable garden because squash don't grow on an island uh... tomatoes definitely don't grow cucumbers don't grow watermelons don't grow pumpkins don't grow a lot of that's just because of drought but they're not doing so hot and I'm kind of curious if anyone knows what kind of plant this is. Not this weed, but this bush. Because I know it's either related to apples or pears. Um, that's the leaf. It's very low growing. And there's a, a fruit. 
So I just post in the comments if it is closerly, closer related to apples or pears because I want to try to graft it. Alright, so that's about it as far as I know. We do have some wild cherry trees that seem to be growing. Um, they're past their days though. I mean, they're on the downslope now. Alright.